Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today I've got a different tutorial for you and that is how to use Quicksaw Mixer. Now this is a free software if you sign up uh, for the Unity development program and you can do all that for free. I'll leave some links below where you can kind of get started and you can eventually kind of download this amazing amazing software and just to let you know you can export all of the all of the textures that you create uh, directly from this software into softwares like iClone, 3ds Max, Maya and so forth so without further ado let's uh, conclude with the tutorial so today I'm just going to show you how to create textures and you know maybe a bit of a basic uh, tutorial on how to use a uh, Quicksaw Mixer uh, so what we're going to do is uh, in this tab here set up you can just kind of uh, set up what you are creating so if it's a 3d asset or you know if it's a custom model for now we're going to create uh, a, our own custom texture so we'll just leave it as a plane now this same plane can be used as a floor or you can use it as a wall in your software you can just you know rotate it up and use it as a wall so that's how you kind of um, uh, get your plane in your settings and then you set your texture resolution here so we'll leave that at 2k and when we go up to our layers panel here, we can see a number of different tabs down here. Now these are our tabs that we're going to be using to actually add textures to our plane. So what we're first going to want to do is we are going to want to add a solid layer. Now this will serve as a base layer to whatever textures you put on top of that. Quite important to always do that. Um, sometimes you might do things where you want to uh, shade out an area or you know make an area a bit more worn out and if you haven't got a base layer it will it will end up seeing you know the mesh like that so you don't want that and you can play around with your albedo map here and change the color of that base map as you can see here you can change that to any color so we're going to be creating a kind of road so we'll leave that maybe a dark a dark color that would be fine for what we're trying to create today and then what you want to do is you want to click this tab here and you want to add um, a texture, a floor texture. So that will take you to your local library over here. Now in your local library, these will be all the textures that you've already downloaded uh, from Quixel or Bridge online. And if you want to go online and actually get more textures, you can click that tab there. And that will then take you online where you can then see a number of textures here that you can then download. Now, they've got over 16,000 and you can see here, there's, you know, a ton of different textures for all different types of kind of environments or settings. And we're just gonna choose asphalt, which is like the roadsides. And we're gonna kind of scroll down and pick a really cool one. So this looks really nice. Uh, we'll click on that and then we'll just download that so when we've downloaded that from online as you can see the percentage bar will run up here once that gets to 100 percent that will put that in our local library so these will be textures that we've already downloaded and as you can see i've already got a few here from uh, my online work so you can download you know as many as you need and you can right click on these textures and delete them if you don't want them in your uh, browser so you know really oops what have i done here cancel so if we go back online uh, that now has downloaded so that will then come here as you can see in our library now if we double click on that that will take that will um, then be placed over our solid layer now you can see um our bottom layer here is overpowering that top layer a little bit so what we can do here is just uh not bring the opacity down as you can see that will then show the um, underneath that we don't want. But we can play uh, with the height map and we can just bring the height map down a little bit and you can now start to see the ash salt come through much more uh, predominantly. Um, we'll just leave that about there. And now you can see, you know, that really cool looking uh, texture. Now, once we've got that, what we uh, want to do is we want to go back up here and we want to add a decal now again you can go online and you can download a number of different decals here if you just go into this tab 
you can see they've got 1581 and they've got loads of different ones that you can download but what we're going to do is we're going to go into the local library and i'm going to look at some of the decals that i've already got downloaded now as you can see here we've got the yellow road land so if we wanted to add that in we can just double click that will then place that texture on our uh on our plane but as you can see it hasn't come up and you just need to then go over here and just drag that on top of your ash salt road now you'll see that will bring out a number of lines what we want to do is just make sure that's clicked and then we want to go here into our uh, placement and we can just mess around with the tiling so what we want to do is just click tile x that will then create one uh one line and we can play around with the repetitions here on the y-axis to make that bigger or smaller however you want that um, we're going to make that like a roadside line so we'll make that quite thin and then we just want to offset it on the y-axis and place that exactly where we want it so we'll just give it a little bit of room because we are going to create a pavement later so we're just going to want to make sure there's you know enough room uh, on this side to create the pavement later so i'll just leave that yellow line there and then we can just come up here right click on that duplicate that layer and we can come down to the y-axis and offset that onto the other side so already we've got our a basic road which is looking pretty cool now we can do a lot of stuff to this to really kind of bring that to life uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back into our decals here and we're going to add another layer we can maybe add a, a speed bump so if we add a speed bump there that will then bring in this cool uh, looking speed bump and what we can do is we can just rotate that to get that kind of more fitted in the correct position by just going over to the rotate tab here and we could just rotate that around um, and we could just scale that to make that much smaller just to fit in uh, into our scene so um, already looking a bit too small uh, so what we could maybe do is uh, if we just uh, remove that and we'll just add another decal and we'll just add this speed bump here which may work a little bit better for the scene um, looks much more in proportion so we'll just rotate that and then we'll just scale that down a little bit just to fit in the scene perfectly and we'll just mess around with the offset and just move that a little bit up here on the road now we'll go back into our decals tab here and we can start to kind of you know just add a bit of um a bit of um layers to the road maybe like a crack so we'll add that that will then bring this cool looking crack in the road as you can see here and um we'll just offset that a little bit on the x-axis and we'll just give that a bit of a rotation and you know you can really start to see how cool that really is starting to look and you can play around with the um wrap to underline and the blur underline but you wouldn't really do that for this all that would do is kind of raise i believe it will raise okay so it's having no effect on that okay so you can see it maybe it adds a little bit of detail back to it so you could maybe uh, mess around with that uh, you could play around with the height and stuff but um, i don't want to mess around with that too much here um you know you can see you know you could just get a bit of a different look um, you can also play with the blend radius etc and just blend that in a bit more um, but what we'll do is we'll leave that how it how it was and um, we'll go back into our decal tab and we'll just add uh, we'll just add one more one more crack in the road and um, we'll just scale that down a little bit and we'll just offset that over here and just just up here okay cool so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a pavement to the road so we'll go back into our decal tab but this time we're going to be adding a sidewalk uh, which will be like serve as a pavement so we'll pick the one we like uh, let's just pick this basic one and that will then add this sidewalk here now we can go again to our tiles and click x and we can just offset that 
and that will then bring in um, another pavement on that side and that's how you create uh, the pavement so you know we've got a really cool looking road here so that's basically how how you can mess around uh, with Quixel Mixer to create you know unlimited kind of textures and looks now we can go here onto our cracks that we've added and we can right click and we can just add a paint mask and this will then um, you know just blend parts out and you can really kind of just you know kind of make it your own and make it look exactly how you kind of you know want it to look but you know it's just a really cool way to kind of make make textures unique and make them your own and you know you can see here now you know it's looking a lot different from that decal that we got earlier and it looks more kind of unique and and, and like our own so you know it's a really uh, really cool uh, where you can do that and then we just go on to this one and we'll right click and we'll add a paint mask and you know we can just take those cracks out there for example and you know you can really just start to make the textures look like your own so you know you can really play around with that and you know there's you know f thousands and thousands of unlimited combinations you can make thousands of textures you know to serve um, all your creative juices and you know you can really start to create some cool uh, textures now we can also um, add liquid add a liquid layer so if we just click on that that will then add this liquid layer here now we want to drag that to the top and we can see um, it's not too predominant I mean it's not giving a great uh, effect so we just want to drag that here and see and we could just change the color of that to make that maybe more watery like we'll just hit apply then you can start to kind of see the effects of that liquid um, and we can then you know play around with that the opacity let's make that a lot less and you know that just makes the road look a little more textured and then what we can do is we can then add a paint layer to this which is a really cool feature and you can just then you know add some custom graffiti or whichever you plan to do so we'll just turn the softness up on that just get the opacity down you can choose your brushes up here and then we could just you know you can really start to kind of paint paint on the floor and you know just add some custom custom graffiti anything of your kind of choice and yeah it's really really amazing tool so we won't add that but i'm just showing you that as something you can do you know maybe on the sidewalk here if it lets me okay so that's not showing on the sidewalk but yeah really cool way you can then you know you know get creative and uh, add a paint layer onto onto your textures here so we can come back to um, our surface layer and we can then you know if we wanted to we can add another surface layer and blend that into the one that's already there so if you wanted yeah to maybe you know post apocalyptic war you can add this texture and you know you can see um you know really kind of you know really jazzes up uh the look uh, but what we can do is we can then um you know mess around with the height map and just bring that right the way down but just leave it a little bit there to kind of add another element to the road 
Um, really, really, really amazing tool and amazing software. And that concludes the tutorial. So I really hope this helps and um, really hope it helps you get creative and start to create some wonderful, wonderful textures. And see you again soon for another tutorial. Thank you.